this show is goaded. Not because the fights are good, the fights are amazing, to the point where I would even say that the fight choreography and the overall direction is better than solo leveling. I'm not saying it's more hype, I'm saying the fight choreography looks really good, but the story is behind it. These fights mean nothing if there isn't that Togami backstory, and yes, Choji's backstory was sad. It's all about chasing after something, but once you realize that at the end of the rainbow, the gold isn't there. It's about the journey. It's about the friends and the whole community aspect. But Cho Choji just couldn't realize. And then that part in the flashback where Togame is there on the ground, just like piecing together something. It's like, what's he doing? And I look over. It's a broken glass of the old memories. I'm like, oh, this shit is too fucking peak. The story, the stories that they're telling us through the flashbacks, I think that is what's carrying the show. And the fights are definitely hype, but not honestly the main aspect of the show. In terms of the fights though, Umemiya, this dude's still very suspicious on how strong he actually is. Why? Because they intentionally did this thing where Umemiya is like acting as a pacifist and took all the hits from Choji and isn't even trying. The power scaling of this guy is still obscure. We haven't seen him go all out, which means we need that Omurai's girl cafe girl to get kidnapped for him to go all out. Let's begin today's reaction. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Choji's laughing again, and the light's back in his eyes. Go home. Go do your homework. Your mom is waiting for you. Also, one thing I didn't understand that people corrected me last episode is Shishitoren? Bofurin? This is not a school. They don't go to this school. I don't know what school they go to. These are just gangs. They're, they're local gangs. Like, e e like, like, Bofurin, but, but the Bofurin, it's a, it's an abandoned school? There's teachers? I'm not sure, right? This is a theater crew. That's our hangout, the, the Rio or something, the Ori. But like, do, are, are these kids all dropout students? Did they actually go to school or something? I'm, I'm not really sure. All right. Kanpai! Just like the boys, man. You just fucking try to kill each other during a fight and afterward you just hug it out and now you're friends. Were you just gonna have a picnic episode? Itadakimasu! Were you just having a picnic episode for real? Yeah? He cares about his appearance a lot, yeah? Sakura is still stuck in this mindset of everyone's my enemy and I need to just fight fight but it's like no nah, after a fight you make up you become homies so -so -so yeah that <laughs> good question <laughs> divided to <laughs> can you call it a fight <laughs> it's a very very good question and uh, I think it's more of a therapy session baiting up with the Aoi Thank you. Yeah. Nah, it's not his fault. He did play a part in it, but nope. <laughs> nah, Togame's just too good. Get on your knees, Choji! That's right! That's right. Sakura, how are you? Beat him up. Ah! <laughs> Umemiya gives him the chance? It's almost as if Umemiya understands what Sakura is lacking and wants to put him in a position to learn some experience so that one day he too will be like Umemiya, all about community building and I have no enemies kind of deal, right? Setai! <laughs> Okay. Yeah. The price is not blushing. That's kind of embarrassing. Yosh. I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, you know Sakura's answer there. I I thought he would 
be like super edgy and be like, no, we can't be friends anymore. But it sounds like he is doing what Umemiya wants to do, like um, subconsciously. So this is like a good thing. Yosh! Random thing that I remember. Apparently, like, look at this. What is this called? It's called a burdock, right? So, completely different tangent, but in Dragon Ball, Kakarot, burdock. Vegeta, vegetable, Kakarot, carrot, burdock, the that burdock. What 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 else is there? Uh, fucking uh, Nappa. Ma Nappa is also a f like a vegetable. All the Saiyans, exactly. Vegeta is the king, the prince of all vegetables, right? All the Saiyans, they have names that's vegetable names. That, that it's something I don't know. I just I just I just remembered. I was like, whoa, whoa, Raditz. Exactly. That's another one. Raditz too. Yeah, exactly. He has fun because he has a lot of friends. And a community to protect. Alright. These are the memories you'll remember at the end of the day. Wow, hanging out with the boys. I would kind of argue and say that it is because why he's a top. Because someone like him is the leader and is able to, you know, cultivate this kind of culture. But I know what he's trying to say. Yeah, and then you guys start to get way too much into the power scaling. You're leaving your homies behind! What are you chasing after, man? <laughs> Cute oxygen. This is like a thing of you take advantage of what you already have and don't appreciate it until it's lost and you realize, damn, all I wanted all along was actually there in front of me. So, hmm? he probably didn't want to become the top, but just got pushed there because no one else did. Alright. It's all about having fun. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. These delinquents are too goddamn wholesome, man. I don't think you can even call them delinquents, honestly. They're just kids that just love to fight and want to hang out and eat together. やっぱ梅ちゃんはすごいな。ちゃんと自分のこと分かっててて <sighs> All right, and he got it. I don't know. He said it to the entire group, but it looks like it's directed to Sakura the most here, huh? I will never ever lose. And it would be sick if the story made him such that he never loses. But it's gonna be hard, right? Either this is Cap, and we have like an Itadori Yuji incident during the Shibuya incident, you know, where fucking he says, I'm never gonna lose again, then it's like, wow, you know, <laughs> you know, but like, they could have it such that Umemiya never actually loses a fight where he can fight, but they could have some shitty situations where people are taken hostages, or maybe he's nerfed and injury, other stuff like that, but if he's in his prime form and nothing else is holding him back, he probably would never lose, yeah? Right to Sakura. It just feels like Umemiya is really trying to inspire Sakura to become a leader like me. One of these days, I see potential in you, kid. You should be just like me. The power of friendship. I think Choji's shoes are so sick. He understood the meaning. Oh, 
We got a bunch of omurais. Anpan. True. Here's a bread for you, kid. Bye. Okay. What? A, who knew like this would be the outcome of Shishitoren and Bofurim, bro? Like, what a, what an insane ending. In a good way. In a good way. I just didn't realize like what kind of direction this story was gonna go after they started all this turf war shit with us, with kids getting fucking bottled in the fucking head beneath the bridge, you know? So. So soon today. Bye bye. And they're Mata definitely ne! gonna be allies in the future. Now what? Ne, Kame chan. Hmm? Ore, wakatte runda. Ayamatte sumu koto jana itte. Return like the old days. Apologize and have fun. Sore demo ore wa. Zio da. Dakara. <laughs> I hope they split it in half. One for you, one for me. Together, guys. Wow, best friends. You know what? I don't think it would really change the flavor. You know why this is tasty right now? Do you know why? It's because we're eating with a friend. It's not about, it's not about the anpan, guys. It's, it's, it was never about the bread. It's about sharing something with the friends that you love and enjoying and having a good time with the homies, man. That's why it tastes so good. That's why he's smiling and laughing right now. <laughs> Oh, Togami, don't cry now! Tears. I am not crying. Tears are arising, but I'm not crying. Togami, stop crying. God damn it. Fucking guy. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh. This shit's actually too good. Oh, it's that kid that started all this shit by getting caught under the bridge. This is the girl that needs to get kidnapped for Umemiya to go all out. Hmm? Thank you. Like, that kid literally only existed to make both Furin and Shishitorin fight each other. Like, I completely forgot about him. I know that he. He was getting chased because he, got, he was trying to save somebody and then, you know, Togami did some fucked up shit on the bridge, but it's like, I... I just completely forgot him during the actual fights. I was too immersed in the Togami Choji flashbacks. <laughs> really love Kotoha. Yeah, so I honestly... <laughs> His fight was insane, right? Well, Mad Dog also. He one shot. But so I, yeah, he, no sweat, nothing. N cl clothes clean as fuck. It's just, he, he's cleaner than this guy right now. And the motherfucker on the right didn't even do shit except fucking panic the entire time. Bro was sweating without fighting. How crazy is that? So I was on the stage doing some, oh, come over here, kid. And being all swap, so cool. Motherfucker on the right was like, no way! Are we gonna lose? Then he just like, sweating fucking buckets the entire time. Suo, not Soe. Suo. Soe is Rimuru's, you know. Not anymore, we're not. Nevermind. How? <laughs> Dialogue anniversary. Well, what the fuck is a salad anniversary? Oh, with the big boss? 
Man to man, heart to heart? Nah. But I don't know what it is. How was the talk? I don't know what it is. It was so heartfelt. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're expecting our fists to fucking talk, bro. Like, we fucking fight and then... <laughs> Sakura didn't see the Togami flashbacks. We, as the audience, of course, sees everything between Sakura and Togami. And fighting and their flashbacks and the stories. Sakura didn't see any of that shit. He just saw Togami probably say some shit after having a flashback. It's like, what the fuck is this guy doing right now? I don't know. What did he see? <laughs> no shit, we're not actually expecting to hear voices while fighting. That's like, oh, one punch thrown. And then he's like, a little bit of, you know, Togami's voice being repeated in her head. No, 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 no. It's about the vibes? The overall just feel? I mean, we as the audience know, but what, 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 the, what would Sakura know? <laughs> What is that? I meant it was a means to convey something or accept something that's conveyed. What the fuck does that mean? I'm just gonna see, just vibe, just do overall feels, bro. Oh! God damn it. Wait, my lighting just died here. Technical difficulties. Bro is talking about how back in the day we would do unga bunga fighting, therefore we should be able to do it. What? <laughs> is that Yaoi? Because he just uh, spit out. He just spit out his own fluids onto Umemiya. Does that count? Like Choji biting into Umemiya? Or are they are, are I I don't know. I'm I'm trying to like understand what like the the people that actually love Yahweh would consider. Is this fan service for them or am I so normie that I don't even know what it is? Liking Togame. He did know instinctively something was bad. Orega,嬉しいから、外から来るやつがいるって聞いて、物好きなやつがいるもんだ。どんなやつなんだろうって思う。昨日、今日とお前を見て確信した。お前はいいやつだ。はあ、I feel bad for this guy, the mad dog, cause like he is the number one simp fan of Umemiya. Yet yeah, Umemi is not having a one-to-one -one conversation with him, but focusing everything onto Sakura, right? Like, I bet I would be so jealous if I was in his shoes. Like, what the fuck? Why aren't I going to go 1v1 conversation? Because he doesn't say anything. He says nothing. He just stares. それなら歓迎会でいいじゃねえか。何な。そりゃそうだ。なんで受け入れられる。<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Not a big deal. Oh, do it. I'll be waiting. できないそもそも俺は人を受け入れたこと。ここへ来たのだって。てっぺんになって。てっぺんになるのは嫌だ。Exactly. Exactly. He understood. He understands, though. It's you. You got the mic. I think he's still lame, bro. And yes, we need to give him time for him to have an actual development. Of course, they're going to introduce a character like this so that he can do a 180 and be cool later. But right now, I think he's, he's pretty fucking lame to me. He has, like, that heart of a hero at times, but... Oh. More blushing. Did you say Sama? What? Wait, 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 what did you say? Sanwa. Yeah. 
You did good, kid. Sit down. Nah, Sakura. You need to open your heart. Want to know that. <laughs> what these fists? What these fists? Alright. あんたは他人を諦めてな。血を抜きな。そうすればきっと。それができれば何にだってなれる。That's <laughs> going to take a long time. He's probably not just there yet to accept all of it. He's so mad, bro. It's... <laughs> Imagine your hero, your idol, everyone that you worship and believe in is telling another dude that he's going to be the number 1 and he's like, "What the fuck? What this is What about me, bro? I'm literally here. This is fucked up." <laughs> Wouldn't win me a graduate at some time? Oh. I ain't gonna lie, the only reason I've been calling him Mag Dog because I literally didn't know his name. Sugishita. Sugishita. Okay. Oh, he's talking. Wonder if she can fight. She probably can, huh? And that is today's episode. Today's episode was pretty. Uh, I mean, what do you expect from like an aftermath episode? And for an aftermath episode of wrapping things up, I think it was very good, right? We had a whole picnic on the rooftop, apologies, heartwarming, I mean, heartwarming, uh, what's the word? Apologies to each other. I think things are pretty good. Togame also almost made me cry again with the fucking end with sharing the anpan with Shoji, but goddamn, Shishitoren, they're just the boys. And they're finally back together and we fixed them through a group therapy session. And then there's a little bit of Umemiya and Sakura dialogue. He already understands that in order to become the top, he can't just go by himself. It's not about beating everyone and getting there alone. It's about getting there together as a team. And Umemi is putting a lot of faith and a lot of coaching into Sakura and completely ignoring Sugishita, who's like, what the fuck? What about me? That's what you get for fucking simping Sugishita, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, Take care.